Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny here and welcome to another Lightroom Quick Tip. And today we're talking about the radio filter. I've got three common uses um, I like to use the radio filter for that every landscape photographer should know. Let's get stuck into it. So the first one is creating an off-centered vignette. You guys would know, I'm going to crank this up a bit. If you use the vignette tool, you can see it makes an even vignette around the outside, which is fine. But what happens if I wanted to focus more on this area and, I, and I, I, you don't have any control with the custom vignette tool? So the first thing I'm going to do is grab out, jump over to the radio filter here. I want to drag out roughly where I want the vignette to be centered, which is going to be over this little turtle's head here. Mind you, he wasn't that little. He's pretty big. <laughs> But anyway, I want to make sure my feather here, I don't, want to, I don't want the mask inverted. See, if it's inverted, it's actually going to affect the inside. And you can see it's affecting the inside of the filter here. We don't want that. So we want to make sure that's unchecked and we want to crank it up to somewhere around 70. So we've got a nice feathered vignette. And I'm just going to lower that exposure down a little bit there. And that's it, guys. That's, uh, and I can move that around and I can center that anywhere. I'll, um, I can um, put that focus of this vignette anywhere in the image I like. Let me go before and after. So that's before, that's after nice subtle vignette yeah they may need just a little more touch on the exposure there let me bring that down just a touch more yeah that's that's looking good now perfect so there you go before after all right so using the radio filter as an off-centered vignette great and it's really handy for that next let's jump into this one here this little macro shot of a drop let it crank up here my little macbook's catching up go macbook Anyway, there we go, and she's in. Okay, so we're in the radio filter here. This time, we want to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to create like a little spotlight effect, and we're going to draw the viewer's eye, create, make this the lightest area of the image, and draw the viewer's eye onto that little drop there, okay? Even more than it is, even though it's tack sharp there in the image. So I'm going to drag out a little uh, radio filter here, and I just want to skew this little fella. Come on, Mr. Radio Filter, let me grab the handles. There we go. That's what I wanted. I want to skew this so it's sort of running along the blade of grass here. Now this time we want to make sure that the mask is inverted. Now I've probably added one on before in this image, but um, so I know I usually start around 0.5, but I know it's going to be too strong for this image. So I'm going to go somewhere like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 even might be good. Now let's turn that on and off. So that's off. On, you can see what it's done. It's just created like a little spotlight effect and it's a really neat trick for um, making sure the viewer is just nailing in the, the, the what am I trying to say here? <laughs> making sure the main subject of your image is the brightest thing. So there you go. I think I need more coffee. Anyway, let's get on to the last one. So using the radio filter is like a little spotlight on your main subject. Really, really cool. All right, so let's jump on the last image here. This time we're going to add some more punch to our image and we're going to punch those uh we're going to add a bit more orange into the image into this area here and really make those oranges pop so if you look by the before so the before of this image is pretty different there you go <laughs> so there's the after that's where we're up to with um, a few basic adjustments but you can see what i've done here i've just added a little graduated filter on top to bring those blue tones in and of course you know whenever there's a nice blue tone you've got a nice orange tone there it's really a beautiful way to have complementary colors so i'm going to close that there and what I want to do here is I want to create a little radial filter around this area here. And I'm going to add some warm orange tones back into this area just to, just to make them pop a little bit more. So we want to make sure we're inverted. We're going to crank the feather up to at least 70. We want it nice, a soft transition. And we don't need much, eh? Just a little bit of warmth back into that area. And, you know, I might even be able to recover the highlights a bit more in that area too. So there you go. So just play around with that. Play around with your feather. You may want to feather it out a bit more there. And every image is a little bit different. So, But you just want to make subtle changes. That's all we're getting at here. And that's probably, you know what? It's probably a little bit too warm. So I'm even going to back that down a bit. And you can see it's just a subtle change. But all these little subtle changes, they make such a big difference. So look at that. Just added a bit of warmth back into the image. And you can do this anywhere in your image. It's like localized uh, white balance adjustments anywhere in your image. And I, I just love it. I love it for enhancing sunrise and sunset images. So there you go. There's quick the two, three quick fire chips for using the radial filter. I'd love to hear if you have any more. Please leave them in the comments. And I uh, hope you enjoy this little Lightroom tutorial. This is Johnny out. Peace.